mimi akatuleta juni hii i am an usher in my church yeye ni shemazi katika kanisa la so you just allow me to request you to all move this side na basi mtaniruhusu kwamba niwaombeni nyote mliko nyuma mkuje mbele i want to talk to a people that i'm seeing clearly nataka kunena na watu ambao ninaona vizuri i request if you have no business here kindly move this side ninaomba kao kwamba iwapo hauna kazi yote huko nyuma tafadhali kuja mbele so that we can be together while we go forward ili kwamba zote tuwe tuwe pamoja tunaposonga mbele my names i'm jackton on watch anaitwa jackton on watch nami naitwa felix miu i'm born again i love the lord nimeokoka na mpenda bwana i come from the size of siaya county anatoka sehemu za siaya please give me courage for i know god can never bring me from that far amenipa hujasiri kwa sababu najua kama mungu hawezi akanitoa kule chini unto the land of makuselo in vain na nilete katika nje ya makuselo pasipo kwa na sababu he is a god who never gathers his own without purpose yeye ni mungu ambaye hawezi akakusanya watu wake pasipo kwa na kusudi and even tonight because he has brought you unto this place na hata jioni ya leo kwa sababu amekuleta mahali hapa trust me he has a purpose for you niaminini kwamba ako na kusudi kwa sababu yako makuselo we are coming to you not in any other name makuselo atwaje kwenu si kwa jina lingine lolote but in the name of the most high god lakini kwa jina la bwana aliyeko juu who is able to do all things aliye na uwezo wa kufanya mambo yote who is able to change all conditions aliye na uwezo kubadilisha hali zote who is able to bless his own people aliye na uwezo wa kubariki watu wake the bible says his word is yes and amen ndio sema kwamba neno lake ni ndio na amina when he speaks that is final anaponena hiyo ya tosha that is the god we are bringing in makuselo tonight huyo ndiye mungu tunayeleta makuselo chini i believe the lord has entered makuselo today anaamini kwamba bwana ameingia makuselo leo makuselo will not remain the same amen haitabaki sawa hapo i have read the word of god kwa sababu nimelisoma neno la mungu and there is one thing i have known na kuna kitu kimoja ambacho nimejua wherever the lord went into popote ambapo bwana alienda every place the lord visited kila mahali ambapo bwana alitembea it never remained the same haikubaki vile vile something happened to mark his presence kuna kitu kilitendeka kuonyesha uwepo wake mara hapo happening to place to mark his presence ah kwamba kitu kinatendeka kuhudhirisha wewe even tonight hapa hata jioni ya leo will happen a thing kuna kitu kitatendeka when is seen na the when is seen na kwamba inapoonekana the presence of god and his station will be remembered uwepo wa bwana na mtembo wa bwana hapo hiyo believe together we will shout a big amen you are praying mimi sema amina kubwa Let me talk to our brothers who are doing businesses in the shops. Acha nielee ndugu zetu ambao wanafanya biashara katika maduka. Even from the point you are seated. Hata kule kwenye viti ambapo mmeketi, you can still be under the voice of God tonight. Naweza kuwa chini ya sauti ya Bwana jioni ya leo. Because you never know he whether the Lord is here for you. Kwa sababu je, unajua kwamba Bwana yako hapa kwa sababu yako? Even in your business you need God. Hata katika biashara zako unahitaji Mungu. It is only kingdom matters that are taken lightly. Ni mambo tu ya fama ambayo yanachukuliwa kwa urais. If this even it could have been a politician in this place. Ni wapo jioni ya leo kwenye kona wa wanasiasa hapa. Believe me there are some sources that could have been such now. Niaminini kwamba kungekuwa na maduka ambayo yameshafuni. Who would be gathered in this place? Watu wangekuwa wamejoa la hapa perhaps just to receive a hundred cents. Usogee tu shilingi 100. But we have brought life tonight. Lakini tumeleta for tonight when i'm here na basi jioni ya leo napokuwa hapa not even your silence can discourage me hata si akinya chako hatuwezi kikakushusha because i've tested of this god manake nimemjaribu huyo mungu and i know that 
life is good I have tested this God And I know that he is sweet And tonight whoever will test of him the Lord will be good unto us. Amen. I say the Lord will be good unto us. I say the Lord will be good unto us. I say the Lord will be good unto you. I say the Lord will bless you tonight. Amen. Because he is a God who blesses. The Bible says that his blessings bringeth no sorrow. People have sought so many things But at the end they have come to regret Praise be to God People have owned so many big things But they have lacked God Therefore they have lacked peace That is why all without God is vanity you remain silent as if you are doubting that. I say, without trust. Things without trust. The Bible says, What does it benefit a man? If he gains all things, he won't be able and loses his soul. I know and I believe in this place tonight I'll find someone who will say in their spirits that I need God tonight we have come to you with an authority from above this is the authority that transcends all authorities this is the authority that cannot be compared to any authority under the sun the Bible says in Romans chapter number 13 verse 1 that there is no authority except that comes from the Lord. And that is the authority that we have tonight. That when we are here, there is a power that is able to speak upon the life of someone. That is able to bless the life of someone. The book of Matthew, Nikatika Kitapucha Madayo, twenty eight, verse number eighteen. Ishirina Nani Mla Msarim Logo Kumina Nani, which is the key text for our mission. Amayo Dio, Selimku, 
and the Bible says and Jesus came and said to them all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me 28, 18. Matthew 28, 18. Yesu akaja kwao akasema nao akawambia nimepewa mamlaka yote mbinguni na duniani basi enendeni just 18 the Bible says Biblia inasema, that Jesus came to them and said Yesu na kasema, that all authority in heaven and on earth yote na duniani, has been given unto me. Mimi. People struggled looking for authority. Just the other month we came from the elections. People spent so much to get power. People spent so much to be the designated authority over some place. But let me tell you something. Lakini Whoever the authority was given unto, they have some specific designated areas. When they cross and get about the other side, when they no longer have power over the other places. We have a president of this nation. He has authority over the land of Kenya. When they travel to other countries, Authority gives you a voice. I want you to turn to your neighbor. He said, I'm a 
authority gives a voice. Shout it in the ears that authority gives a voice. You know, the enemy has different ways of binding the people of God. Amen. Amen. You're speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Authority gives a voice. Mamlaka hutoa sauti. Just be patient with me. I'll come where you are. Tulia tu nami nitakuja kule uliko. Today when the president of the nation of Kenya came to this place. Leo iwapo rais wa nchi hii angekuja hapa. And spoke a word. Na ongee neno. It would automatically become a command. Ingefanyika amri. All other authorities will bow. Mamlaka mengine yote in Inama. When the president came to this place this day, wakati iwapo rais angekuja hapa leo, the governor of Bungoma will bow. Governor wa Bungoma angenyenyekea because a higher authority has come. Kwa sababu mamlaka ya juu yamekuja. An MCA will be found next to nowhere. MCA hata angepatikana mahala popote. Because a higher authority has come. Kwa sababu mamlaka ya juu sana yameingia. And their voices are a command. Na hiyo sauti ni amri. And tonight there is a higher authority that has visited Makuselo. Na jioni ya leo kuna mamlaka ya juu sana ambayo yameingia Makuselo. Any other authority that has been speaking over this land will bow tonight. Mamlaka mengine yote ambayo yamenena kinyume na nchi hii ama sehemu ya Makuselo if they were authorities of witchcraft it will bow tonight Amen. because a higher authority has arrived every other authority will comply any power that has been speaking over your life will bow tonight authority kwa sababu mamlaka ya juu has visited the land yametembelea makuselwa namba 2 ya pili authority gives power mamlaka hupeana nguvu sema amen amina haleluya amina i said authority gives power nilisema kwamba mamlaka hutoa nguvu Authority gives power. Mamlaka hutoa nguvu. If you have authority, iwapo unayo mamlaka, you have a final say. Uko na neno la mwisho. Whatever you speak happens. Chochote ambacho utanena kitatendeka. Whatever you speak is not taken lightly. Chochote ambacho utanena hakitachukuliwa kirahisi. Because authority gives power. Kwa sababu mamlaka hutoa nguvu. If Jesus said all authority has been given unto me. Yesu alisema kwamba mamlaka yote nimepewa mimi and we serve a territorial god na tunatumikia mungu wa maeneo god the father god the son god the holy spirit mungu baba mwana na roho mtakatifu and the bible says in acts chapter number 1 verse 8 na biblia inasema katika matendo ya mitume 1 But you will receive power kwamba utapokea nguvu when the holy spirit has come upon you wakati leo mtakatifu amekujilia authority gives power mamlaka hutoa nguvu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Bwana sifiwe. If leaders of this world iwapo viongozi wa ulimwengu huu came to this place, wangekuja mahali hapa and spoke a word. Na waongee neno. Even if they did it so jokingly, hata kama wangefanya tu kimzaa, it will be taken so seriously. Ingechukuliwa kiumanani sana. And for sure it will be applied. Na hakika ingefanywa kazi. Because authority has given them power. Kwa sababu mamlaka walionayo imewapa nguvu. So any word that proceeds from their mouth, na basi neno lolote ambalo linatoka kinywani mwao has power. Ina nguvu. Authority mamlaka authority mamlaka this is the one we bring to you tonight huyo ndiye tunamletea jioni ya leo allow me read one last verse niruhusu nisome kifungu cha mwisho mark chapter number 5 marko 5 from verse 1 kuanzia penyewe it's long but i would read ni ndefu lakini nitasoma the bible says biblia inasema just allow me to read then you'll read later They came to the other side of the sea to the country of the Gerasenes 
when Jesus had stepped out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who lived among the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain, for he had often been bound with circles and chain. But he wrenched the chains apart and he broke the circles in pieces. No one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains he was always crying out and cutting himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and fell down before him. And crying out with a loud voice, he said, What have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he was saying to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. And Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. The next verse, the Bible says, Sorry. And he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now a great herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside. And they begged him, saying, Send us to the pigs, let us enter them. So he gave them the permission. And that clean spirits came out and entered the pigs and the herd, numbering about two thousand, rushed down the steep bank into the sea, and drowned in the sea. Fourteen says. The herdsman fled and told it in the city and in the country. And the people came to see what is it that had happened. And they came to Jesus and saw the demon possessed man, the one who had had the legend, sitting there, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And those who had seen it described to them what had happened to the demon possessed man and to the pigs. And they began to beg Jesus to depart from the legend. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed with demons begged him that he might be with him. 19 says, And he did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you, and how he was, and how he has said mercy on you. 20 says, And he went away and begged to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him and everyone marvel. Amen. Amen. This a story of a man who was demon possessed. He in a letter about him to buy a little down on my people. The Bible says the same but this man was possessed with an unclean spirit. They unclean spirits drove him from his people. The authorities that occupied his life led him. To dwell among the tombs. A place where only dead people were buried. The authority that was speaking in the life of this man took him away from his family, separated him from his people, and made him live a lonely life, a life that no one would wish, a life that was hopeless, far away from his people an authority had led him this never happened at his will but there was an authority that was in his life there was an authority that dwelled in him an authority that dictated all that he would do an authority that dictated an authority that wanted to destroy him An authority that wanted to finish him The Bible says That not even shackles and chains Could hold 
for him no more. Because he would break them loose. The Bible says there was not any person that would subdue this power. And the power was so strong. That the enemy comes and we utter but to steal, kuiba, to kill, kuwa, and destroy. Nakwaribu. The enemy had come upon the life of this man. And we are come and kuja katika maisha yu kumtu. And the intention of the enemy, naniya yashadui, was to destroy this man. 
ilikuwa ni kuharibu huyu mtu it was so a strong power ilikuwa ni nguvu kumno but not even the witches could subdue kwamba kuna hata mchawi angeiweza i know for sure ninajua hakika the family of this man familia ya huyu jamaa put so much effort trying to get him life ilikuwa na bidi sana kumpatia ma- 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 maisha tena they spent so much to seek life for their son yalitumia gharama ya juu kutafuta maisha kwa kijana wao the bible says lakini biblia inasema that no man could subdue it hakuna mtu angeweza kuishinda not even no medication could subdue it hakuna hata madawa yangeweza not a strong power was operating upon the life of this man ni aina gani ya nguvu hizo nguvu hizi waweze kufanya mbele you need to raise a higher altar unahitaji sana kuinua madhabahu ya juu sana It takes a higher authority in a garima mamlaka ya juu to subdue a lower authority kunyenyekeza chini mamlaka ya hiyo chini Yes so good things here mambo yote mazuri hapa that I wish someone is listening to ambayo laiti mtu angekuwa anasikiza the authority that subdued the authority that was operating in this man mamlaka yaliyonyekeza mamlaka yaliyokuwa yafanya kazi ndani ya huyu mtu it is an authority that even nature bows to ni mamlaka ambayo hata asili inanyekea chini yake the bible says biblia inasema but he called things that are not ana vita vitu ambavyo havipo as though they are kana kwamba zipo that is authority we are presenting hayo ndio mamlaka ambayo tunawaletea authority that depends on things not seen by the eyes mamlaka ambayo yaegemei mambo ambayo haonekani authority that operates from no expectation of a man mamlaka ambayo fanya kazi pasipokuwa na matarajio mwanadamu that he called things that are not kwamba ana vita vitu ambavyo havipo as though When that authority says you are blessed mamlaka hayo inaposema umebarikiwa in the eyes of men there can be no blessing hakuna macho ya mama na mama ambayo inaweza kutawala hiyo but because authority has said you are blessed lakini kwa sababu mamlaka yamesema umebarikiwa just be your blessing is around the corner yeah mimi ni baraka zako ziko karibu when that authority says you are breaking forth haya mamlaka yanaposema wewe unafanya mbele in the eyes of men it can never be true katika macho ya wanadamu haiwezi Yesu akiwa kwenye mashua na wanafunzi wake crossing to the other side of the sea wakienda ngambo nyingine ya bahari before they meet the garrison demoniac kabla wakutane na yule jamaa aliyekuwa amepagawa mapepo and Jesus takes a nap na Yesu anachukua a nap anachukua analala and their can't stop na kuna kuja na 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 mawimbi that bothers the disciples ambayo inawasumbua wanafunzi and they realize Jesus has slept na wanatambua kwamba Yesu amelala and they go and wake him up na wanaenda wanamwamsha this is what Jesus says hii ndio Yesu anasema peace be still kwamba na tulia what an authority mamlaka aina gani hii but even nature hears his voice kwamba hata ali asili usikia sauti yake what an authority ni mamlaka ya aina gani hii but even nature complies to his voice kwamba hata hali ya hewa inatulia chini ya hayo mamlaka he crosses to the other side of the sea anaenda upande mwingine wa wa bahari and a, 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 a person comes to him mtu anamjilia and tells him my daughter na sick at the point of death anamwambia kwamba binti yangu ni mgonjwa karibu afi and he is led to the house of Jairus na anapelekwa kwa nyumba ya Jairus and on the way the multitude get so big na wakati huo umati unakuwa mkubwa and among the congregation na miongoni mwa ule umati there happens to be a woman kunakuwa na mwanamke who had had a blood flow for 12 years aliyekuwa akitokwa na damu kwa miaka 12 years this woman had 
tried to seek help. Mwanamke huyu amejaribu msaada na alipoti. But there was never a thing happening in her life. Lakini hakuwa na kitu kikitendeka katika maisha yake. He she gets to hear. Na mate anasikia who is passing by. Yule ambaye anapita karibu, she excuses herself. Yeye anaji anaingia. He just gets to touch the cloak of Jesus. Na nenda tu anashika pimbo la Yesu. And instantly the blood flows down. So how do you What an authority Jesus had. the authorities bow ilifanya mamlaka yote kunyenyekea this is the authority haya ndio mamlaka that calls Lazarus from the dead ambaye alimuita Lazaro kutoka kaburini having been buried for four days akiwa amezikwa kwa siku nne in the eyes of men then and even today majoni kwa wanadamu wakati huo na hata sasa this would be an impossibility hii ingekuwa ni kitu ambacho hakiwezekani But with this authority, lakini kwa mamlaka haya, listen to me, msikizeni. Tonight it doesn't matter. Jioni leo haijalishi how long you have been in your condition. Umekuwa katika hali hiyo kwa muda gani? It doesn't matter. Haijalishi how long the enemy ni kwa muda gani adui has taken rule over your life. Ameweza kuyatawala maisha yako. It doesn't matter. Haijalishi What pattern ni aina gani ya misuru ya mambo has been going on in your family imekuwa ikiendelea katika mai, katika maisha yako We wish there was someone who is listening to this who shout at the top of their voices amen natamani kwa mtu kwa mtu anasikiza haya angesema amina kubwa it takes someone inachukua mtu who is fed apo whatever is happening in the life ambaye ameweza 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 ku, ku, ku kuchoshwa na mambo ambayo yanaendelea katika maisha yake to break from ili kwamba kaweze kusonga mbele if still you are comfortable in those situations iwapo wewe um, uko tu sawa katika hizo hali ulizomo you will never break from wewe hautawahi kupenya if you are not tired of your condition iwapo hautachoka na hali uliomo you will never break from hautapenya Alex mpaka tu This revan to me ni nuli mkono juu Alex a man is tired of whatever is happening in their lives mpaka tu mtu aweze kuchoshwa na mambo ambayo yanatendeka katika maisha yao I want tire you with so many words na tunaweza kuchosha na mambo mengi Yes want us to move closer nataka tu tusonge karibu Just make a step from wherever you are. Fanya tu hatua kutoka kule ambako uko. There is an authority kuna mamlaka that is operating that has come here tonight. Yanayofanya kazi ambayo yamekuja hapa jioni hii. There is an authority kuna mamlaka that wants to speak in the life of a person tonight. Inayotaka kunena katika maisha ya mtu jioni hii. There is an authority kunayo mamlaka that wants to restore hope to someone. Baya inataka kurejesha tumaini kwa mtu. There is an authority tonight kunayo mamlaka jioni hii that wants to